This is sheet number 14 of isometric projections. The question says the drawing given below shows the elevation and plane of an ornament. You have to draw using instruments the full size isometric projections of the hiding plane looking in the direction of an arrow. Right, so before we actually start drawing that one, we need to make an isometric scale. That is one of the important things. Our isometric scale is needed here. So to get the isometric scale, the vertical center line that is given here, we can use this as our reference. First we'll make a 30 degree line. Right, so once you have made the 30 degree line, then you are going to make a 45 degree line starting from the same point here. Right, so take reference from the vertical line. Go to the starting point of the line that you have already drawn there. And make another line. And that line will be 45 degrees. And this is our isometric scale. Right? So that's your isometric scale. First line 45 degrees. Second line 80 degrees. Now whatever distance is given in the diagram here, all the distance has to be transferred on the 45 degree line first. Then you're going to take it down to the 30 degree line vertically. And use the distance on the 30 degree line to draw the entire diagram. Right, so let's list down all the diagrams so all the distance there. Right, so I have listed all the distance here. The hexagon base is say 60 AF. So you have to take the radius there, which will be 30. Another one is AF 80. We'll have to take the radius, which will be 40. The sphere is of diameter 80. So 40 is already there. The square base is 120. So we'll take half of that as 60. Then we have to take also 15 and 50. So these are the distance we are going to measure on the 45 degree line. All the distance have to be measured from this point here, starting point. Right, that is 15. And the next one is 30. So you will again put it here and mark 30 there. Likewise, you will transfer all the distance on the 45 degree line. Right, as you can see here, this one is 15, and then we have 30, 40, 50, and 60. Now I'm going to take all those points straight down onto our 30 degree line. Right, so once again, I'll take the reference from the center line that is there. Slide my set square to the starting point from here vertically down. That's how you find all the points, and you can label this as 15 dash 30 dash. 40 dash, 50 dash and 60 dash, right? So let's start with the, since we are given the center line on top, this means we are going to start with the sphere which is diameter. It is 3 quarter of a sphere. So to draw that sphere, first of all we have to draw our isometric circles using the 4 arcs method. So the diameter of the sphere is 80. We are going to take 40 from the 30 degree line. 40 dash. You put it here on the center. And you are going to mark it on all the four corners. And then you can use the center lines to complete the square. Mm 
use the center line to complete the other two sides of the square. Right? To draw the diagonals, one diagonal is already drawn by this vertical center line that is already given the horizontal diagonal now for four x better you have to look for the bigger angles here so this is the two angles which are bigger from there you will take it to the opposite sides which is here and you do the same thing there Ground that from here to there and from that corner to this place. You will put a compass point here. First of all you check from this corner to that corner. That is correct. We draw one semicircle. Keep it right. Next semicircle actually arc. Then you can do the same thing from that side to this side. Right. Now we are left with two more arcs. So one will put it on this center, the intersection of those two, from there we'll draw it here, another one from there, we'll draw it here. And that's the intersection there. So let me draw the arc. The intersection is here. From there I will draw the fourth arc. So that's how you draw a circle using four arcs method. Compass point here, one compass point there, two compass point here, three compass point there. Now let's look at the next one. It's a three quarter sphere, so this means there's another part of the sphere which is here. So we have to draw another semicircle using the four arcs method. So that's from this point and this point we need to draw two vertical lines we are getting a square that will be vertical so we need to draw those two lines vertical lines from those two points which I have marked That's so from this point and that point, that's half of the center line. You draw two more lines. And then you take the distance. Half of the distance of that square. Then you're going to mark up and down. Likewise here, you're also going to mark up and down. And then you're going to join those points. And you'll see that we are forming a square that is vertical. A vertical square. Now using the same method, you're going to draw a semicircle on this half of the square. So from this corner it's already joined there, I'll join it here, put my compass point here, go to the distance and from here you just try to draw one, right, that is the key to do like this from here till there, you can also draw the diagonal, Then this line where it's intersecting the diagonal, from there you can complete the arc. Right, so that's how it should look like. Right, to complete the sphere, you'll put your compass point at the center, go to one of the diagonals. From there, you're going to draw one semicircle. Right. 
right so you make this portion dark you make that portion dark and this line here will be dark that's why it's supposed to be dark so next is this hexagons EF60 is the smaller one, the top one that will be drawn here and we apply the EF80 which will be drawn 50mm below right so first of all what we will do we will try to locate the center where the hexagon is going to start from so if you look at the center one this sphere is diameter 80 So we will take 40 dash, yeah, put it here and mark it there. Right, that's 40 mm. We we'll take 40 mm, put it on this center and mark it there, and that's where your hexagon is going to start from. So here you'll draw a center line, and on that you're going to draw the hexagon. like this and then take it better like that is IF60 so IF60 means when you make it half the radius will be 30 so you're going to take 30 make a height diagram IF means across flat so across flat means your hexagon is going to be outside the circle you're going to circumscribe the hexagon instead of IF it can be also IC and if it is IC there then your hexagon will be inside the circle IC means across corners and IF means across flats. I right, so will take 30 dash, make a circle, then you're going to draw two horizontal lines, one on top, one at the bottom, touching the circle. Then you're going to use your 30 60 set square. use the 60 degree side it's a, as it's shown in the diagram draw one line there and draw one line this side then you can turn your set square on the other side use the other side of the 60 degrees and you complete your hexagon Since we have to see three faces there, if I look from that side and from this side will be two faces. So what I'll do, that's zero, this is one and one. So I'll take zero to one. Put it on the center and mark it on the uh, center line there. Then we'll take it parallel to the 30 degree line which is already drawn there. You can take parallel to one of those lines. And where you have marked your one and one, you can draw the lines. Right now you take your compass, put it on your one on your eye diagram there. Take it to the end of the hexagon. Put it on one, mark it on both sides. 
to do the same thing that side now I go to zero take it to the other end of the hex again put it there mark and then you join all the points you have located and you're going to form a hexagon since you are starting the diagram from the top you can outline whichever surface will be visible right, so these three lines will be all visible I made it dark this one will be visible till it touches the sphere there same thing is here it will be visible till it touches the sphere Right. those lines if you want you can join it lightly now the height there is 50 so I'm going to take 50 dash from the scale put it on 0 and mark <coughs> and then you draw the 30 degree lines the center lines using any of the lines given above right so for the bottom part of the base of that hexagonal pyramid or truncated hexagonal pyramid we are going to require another diagram that is IF80 so this means we are going to take 40 dash draw another circle and you do the same thing to get the hexagon as we have done in the first diagram there but actually it's not required that you draw whole of the hexagon as long as you have the two sides of the hexagon that will be enough to complete the diagram I only need those two sides and that should be enough to complete the diagram so I'll take 0 to 1 and just what we did in the previous exercise we're going to do the same thing here that's 0 1 You can take the distance, the first one, put it on Let me draw the lines first And then you place it there and mark on both sides just like what we did for the first one then you take 0 to that point put it there and mark and then go to your X again you can join the points and make it duck whichever surface will be seen as you can see in the diagram and whichever surface will not be visible you can just leave it like that now the third part of the question we have a square base of 120 by 120 so square base is going to start from the place where you have already drawn the hexagon of IEF80 so you can just extend those center lines you can join those lines there for construction purpose right 
right so half of 120 is 60 and you take 60 dash put it on your center of the bottom hexagon where and mark it on the same center lines then you can take it parallel to the teddy daily lines any lines you want and complete the square Right, which ever surface will be seen, you can make those surfaces dark. Right, so that square base has a height of 15 mm. So all the three visible corners, you can take it down. Vertically down. You can take 15 mm from the scale from the territory line there. Place it on each of the corners and mark. And you can make those surfaces dark also and apply the required rendering. 